Hi there. Uh, I'm going to adjust this very slightly. Uh, this is what I like to call lazy mode chore mag. Yes, I know I'm a horrible human being. Um, I'm going to explain how this works. <laughs> so basically, you see the little blue stuff here on the ground that looks like frowny face ice that, that makes sad with, with the people and... Yes, that stuff hurts you. Every place where you don't see the blue ice, that doesn't hurt you. Uh, if it looks like frosting, it's safe. So, um, here you get a very nice view of Jorma or the claw of Jormag's uh, butt, his tail, his um, fancy, shiny... Whee! Yes, that. Oh, look at his tail. It's, it's, ah, it spins it. Yeah, okay, yes, I, I'm very easily amused. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can't actually damage him until the ice shield... In, out in front is down which you know people are going to do that one way or another uh, most of the people I mean the way I rationalize this is most of the people are way in the back fighting things they don't need to be fighting anyway and it would be better if they came over here and did it this way for two reasons uh, one it would save them time going I, I mean it's it's a shorter distance to his foot from back here than it is from way out where you're supposed to be to him so wouldn't that be 10 times more efficient for killing him i don't know i i would think so and secondly you can't take damage so if you've got some dedicated people that are out there pounding on the shield well that works right but I, I would think that this would be a better way to do it. Uh, I, I figure if I keep doing this, eventually people will catch on. Uh, the way I figured this out was I was really just being goofy and, and experimenting with things for the heck of it. And I'm like, hey, I don't take damage. Cool. And then I decided to be a complete jerk. Uh, <laughs> but the more I think about it, it's better to be a jerk in this particular case. And if everybody else decided to be a jerk, then we'd get things done a heck of a lot faster. So, yes, I just wanted to share this this interesting little uh, tidbit. The um, thing is about to, to come down, so I suppose I'll uh, sit and wait for that to happen. Uh, let's see what they're doing on the map here. We've got one commander way off over there. That is Princess Jenna. I think she's with DC? I'm not sure. Um, uh, who is this? That's not Delcor. I saw him earlier. I think he was zerging out here in Frostgorge. But yeah, okay, people are over there dying unnecessarily. This is usually where you had the champion brutes and veterans and things of that nature that if they were back here, um, wouldn't be any of that stuff because they don't spawn back there. Um, let's see here. I'm... I've never seen anything bad happen when the NPCs over here were just killed. Maybe that's just my ignorance. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a fully offensive event. I, I don't think there are any defensive objectives. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I, I As you can see here, the distance between me and Jormag is about... Uh, actually, I need to get over there and hit him. But yes, the distance between me and Jormag and uh, them and Jormag is... Well, th they're about twice as far away. So, theoretically, you would be saving uh, twice as much time. I mean, I mean, any amount of time that you have to come over here and hit him is, is time spent hitting him. I, he doesn't fly back up in the air once you hit a certain amount of damage, so... Yeah. Anyway, that that's my little uh, trick that I've come across, if you can even call it that. Uh, he'll... Oh yeah, this part right here, he's flying around, they'll hit him, he'll land back again, and the blue ice will reappear, as you can see, there it is. And stay away from that stuff, It's it makes you sad 